Hey, Steve Brosman here, Amazon best-selling author of the book, Stand Up, Stand Out, or Stand Aside. And I'm known as the Authority Catalyst. And welcome to the Online Prosperity Show, hosted by Prosper. And you've got me as a guest today. And I'm going to run through, show you how you can stand out in your marketplace, create your own sales blueprint, so you can get out there and start getting some of the same results that Prosper's getting. And I look forward to seeing you on the show. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than Steve. Mr. Steve Brosman, how are you doing today? Mate, uh, so happy for being here, Prosper. I am so excited to be sharing uh, some of the information that we work together on to, to get you where you are now. And it's a platform to, for other people to go beyond. So I just can't wait to get this information out there to the your people. If you're watching this right now and you've all of you probably been in my program, you've probably seen me pulling this out a fair deal. Now, this is the online prosperity blueprint and the man that's behind all of this is the authority catalyst himself, Steve Brosman. First of all, I would like to thank you for where you've put me in my journey as a person, as a father, as a husband, and as a business person, Steve. And second of all, I would like to thank you for your time today. I know you're really, really busy trying to change people's lives and taking other people's businesses to another level. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself, Steve, before I start crying and ululating because I'm the African guy around here. Oh, look, my journey is, is not that much different to most people. I, I just come from a, a great old average family. I started my first business when I was 15, it was um, surfboard making in the middle of the Hunter Valley, which was crazy. Basically, I saw a need, um, fulfilled that need. Before too long, I didn't want to make the surfboards, so I had mates from school making the surfboards, and I just went out there and sold them. So that, that's really gone right through my whole life. Uh, left school, I was uh, a national-ranked uh, athlete, and then got into the health and fitness industry, and that's where I really started you know, flourishing, seeing different opportunities and being able to think outside the square. Sure, I set up a health club, but then I set up a kids club program. We licensed that into five countries, had a national TV show on Channel 9, um, a weight loss program before there were weight loss programs in health clubs, licensed that into two countries. So it's a matter of you know, what is it that the people really need, how to package it in a way, and then get it out there. And that was in the mid-80s. And later on, I actually saw an environmental need when people with smokers were being kicked out of buildings, actually created a personal ashtray um, in the shape of a bum, a human bum. And really, that became a marketing phenomenon and sold 4 million into 26 countries. So the whole philosophy that I'm now teaching people goes back from a practical experience in business way back from the mid 80s. I know, you know, I've started my business you know, probably before I was born because I'm still only 21. But, <laughs> but that's the, one of the things that when I share my story of where I've come from, I'm not one of these guys who's learned something online, sort of mastered and gone out there and taught it. This is stuff that I've actually had to live and die by to survive. And I'm coming from a practical experience. Now, working with people like you is like, well, how can we get the message across in the clearest possible way? How can we, as business people, stand out in very, very crowded marketplaces? And that's where I've created uh, a number of my own blueprints to get my message across because instead of having to sit there hour after hour explain what to do, how you help people, it's like, well, what if we had a very simple blueprint on how we could work together to achieve the results that you want? And that's one of the biggest aha moments that I got, that when I was you know, just chatting to people, I was actually converting from the video guy into the guy who helps position and package people. So what do I do? How do I explain it? And then, you know, when I came up with the actual blueprint, it made life so much easier. Great stuff. That's like a whole 360 overview of, you know, where you started to where you are, but you're still the same person, still the authority figure. 
Now, how do you manage to balance all that throughout your career? Like, is there some sort of mantra or guidance or mentor that you follow that, you know, keeps you in path? Because a lot of people can't maintain that momentum because you've gone from strength to strength. No, no matter what I do in my life, I always have a mentor or two. Um, coming from a professional athletic background, you know, I was a national, well, a national champion and you know, I coached people to Olympic level. Everybody that is successful has a coach or two or three. And depending on what I'm doing at the particular time depends on the type of coach or mentor that I actually do have. And the reason that I have them is to keep me on track. And one of the things that uh, you were just mentioning before we actually got on camera, before we started, you were just going full steam ahead. But unfortunately, it was in 27 different directions. <laughs> one, one of the things that I was able to do is actually harness you and to get all of your energy, knowledge and expertise and package you and get you on the one track. When we got that going, you were, and you are still, unstoppable. And my mantra is, and it comes from my coaching background as a, as a sports coach, is to help people exceed their own expectations. And right. in business, it's now to give them the tools, the knowledge, and the direction to be able to do that. And uh, it, it's so gratifying that when we can see somebody who may be working in a job or may be working in a profession, and they may be titled by their occupation, whether they're a coach or a consultant or a trainer or a professional or something, and they're just that person. But when we break them out of the mould, and really find out what their uniquenesses are and then highlight those in an outcome-based way, like, you know, Prosper, we had to use prosperity in your title. It was, it was sitting there waiting to be used. So, that was so a lot of thought. <laughs> we, had to, we had to use that and then that's a launching pad for, for where you are now. So when we actually pull people out of the, the time for money and struggling to create their own uniqueness, they can actually get out there and shine. And once we've got that, then we bring the tools that help the market and then get their message out there to the, uh, to the public. Great stuff. All of this stuff that you're talking about is all encompassed in your um, Authority Sales Boost training, which I underwent and came out with the now world famous online prosperity blueprint. This is my go-to thing. Like if anyone says, you know, it's like my calling card. Now, what, what does the course entail and how do you actually make people stand out? I know I went through that course and now my dreams are actually envying my reality. I remember I told you this. Yeah, um, yeah. that's the best <laughs> testimony I've ever got. It's, it's got nothing to do with dollars and cents. It, it is all about, you know, you, you've had these dreams and goals and now they're there and uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's a great position to be. Yeah, so if we're recording this right now, um, it's very, very simple. And the great thing about this is before I have this system, I probably sit down with somebody for about an hour and a half and try and explain what it is that I did. Now, with a blueprint like this, I could run through it in two or three minutes, which I'm going to do, and explain exactly what it is, and people will get clarity. Um, ideally, they'll get excited. <laughs> and and they'll understand exactly what it is because it's all the three S's, self, system, and self. First and foremost, you need to create that magnetic positioning. And you, know, you had some great magnetism. We created a formal magnetic positioning in what you're doing. So to stand out in the marketplace, you can't just be titled by your occupation. So we pull back a, a layer or two of the onion rings and find out exactly who you are and what you do. Then using one or all three videos, books, and or speaking, we help get the collateral out there, get the message out there. And there are so many different tools to use and we work with the person as to which is their medium of choice. You're using videos immensely. Um, there's a book in you that we've got to get out and you're also starting to do some speaking as well. That's getting the message out there and multiplying the reach out to there. So that's the self then most people who are charging dollars per hour or dollars per session are really leaving money on the table because the minute that you have I charge X dollars per session, you're pointing a big red arrow at that price and say, please compare me. And that's the last thing you want to do. So when you have a, an outcome-based program, and a very, very quick example of this 
Um, a, uh, a client of mine, they were managing three leisure centres in the first couple of weeks. They said, we've got to drop our personal training prices. We just can't compete. I said, how are you charging? He said, oh, well, we've got now one session. X dollars. I said, well, here's your problem. Put your prices up 15%, package it up, have a rapid weight loss fast start program and sell that. And I told him how to do it. There was minimal extra cost, put it up 15%. The next week he said, Steve, you won't believe it. I said, yes, I will. And he said, Steve, we have sold more in the last six days than we have in the last six weeks. So right. instead of selling the package of hours, so the package of whatever it is they're delivering, they're selling an outcome. People will buy outcomes. Then the next thing, once you've got the, the, the packaging right, it's a matter of creating one of these and you've done yours and you know the power of having something that's visual in front of them to take them through. And it just explains it so much easier. And with what's called, and you know this, the value pit stops. And it's very quickly, the value pit stop. What would it mean to you to be positioned as a leader in your marketplace? Generally, what you can do when you have that, you're a leader, you stand out, you can increase your fees about 10, maybe 15%. Just tell me, what would an increase in your fees of 15% be? And that might be X hundred or X thousand dollars per month. So we'd actually write that down. Now, with the packaging, we're probably going to increase the fees another X percent. What would that mean to you? With a system like this, would it save you a amount of time? How much time would it save you to get your message across and show people exactly what you do? And, and um, I had one the other day that said, look, normally we would be taking three 40-minute calls to talk to the people, answer their questions and get them enrolled. Now with our system and the blueprint, we're taking a 20-minute call to explain what it is we do, get them excited and get them enrolled. And um, they, they did 87 out of 87 before they lost their first sale in a row. Wow. So the, the, and it just makes save so much time. And then the value pit stop would be, well, how much time would that save you? And it was actually saving them 25 hours per week. Wow. And then the, the sell part of it, and I know professionals hate selling themselves. We're Aussies. <laughs> we hate we hate bragging and say at, 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 when you've got a system at no stage do you have to ever say I'm good by me because it's all in the system would this system do this this and this for you whatever business you're in and would this make it easier to sell what would an extra two to three clients per month mean to you and then they would say well now that's X thousand dollars so Prosper, just looking at it now, we've increased our fees here 10% and that's X thousand dollars. We've saved some time, we've added the packaging. It looks like we're going to add an extra, let's just say, you know, $5,000 a month and save you 10 hours. Does it make sense that we implement this sooner rather than later? Well, as, as, yeah. And you know this and you do it with your clients. As you're working through it, they're engaged with you and they're collaborating on the solution. When you get to the end of it, because it's a collaboration, it's not a close, a pitch or a sale. It's a, well, the next logical step is we do this. And that's as hard as it gets. And then because you're collaborated and they're a part of it, then the objections are almost non-existence because it's their solution. They can't object to what they've just come up with. And that's a, a massive difference. So um, having a blueprint that works has saved so much time, effort, and made so much money for the people who actually get it. And it doesn't take long to get it right. And, and look, um, I do remember your first one, and I possibly could have pulled it first straight up. And, and it was like, <laughs> I've done everything that I know on this blueprint. And you had <laughs> squares and hexagons everywhere. <laughs> the difference between the system of what you do and a well-drafted uh, blueprint is the blueprint is to take them on that journey, that outcome-based emotional journey with facts in there so they get to the end of it that it is a next logical step. And uh, the hundreds of people now that are out there doing this 
it's just making so much of a difference and uh, and it's been gratifying to see people do it the this I'll just very quickly show that this was my original one and made all the difference and I realized that when I went from just trying to sell me to sell the authority accelerator blueprint it made so much difference in the time and the clarity right. of the explanation so you know that once you have clarity and I've got a, a saying that clarity equals cash. When you've got absolute clarity and they have clarity around what you do, then you have a, a, a magic relationship. So in a nutshell, that's basically the, uh, you know, the way I work is help uncover their, uh, their positioning, work with them on whichever medium, then their packaging and creating a blueprint. And then the scripting is just so easy after that. See, what I did then, and it was probably four and a half minutes. All right. Yeah. I explained, I explained my whole business process in four and a half minutes. <laughs> and I, <laughs> and I dare what, anybody. And, and that's yeah. what makes you stand out, Steve. And that's what, why every time we go through this blueprint, I, I get sold over again. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, part, part that I haven't touched. The book part, which is which is definitely coming up, like um, we we have planned. Now, you seem to have a really big and good grasp on knowing who your exact customer is. Is there some homework that you have to do behind the scenes to investigate somebody? Because the biggest problem that a lot of business people or anyone starting in business starts is finding the right kind of person. <laughs> I don't know how this happens. The right kind of person with the right kind of pay. <laughs> yeah, you're taking a leap out of, I've got a video that I put all of my people through. It's called Change the Game. Um, right. As a sports people, as a sports person, I never wanted to play a game that I would lose. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sore loser and I'm a very um, competitive so-and-so. So the whole change the game thing is, is, is too many people get out there and play on a playing field dictated by rules by their competitors and their consumers. Right. What you need to do first and foremost is find out what is your uniqueness and what unique solutions do you provide a section of the market. Then slice off that section of the market where you can become the unique authority, provide those unique solutions, now, here's the kicker that most people don't get right. Slice off that section of the market that is already paying well. Right. And that's the thing that most people don't do. They'll slice off a section of the market. But, and, and a classic example is uh, one of my great clients is a very high level um, dentist. He's actually a now called Australia's leading smile architect. Um, you obviously know where that came from. <laughs> and, and he stands out in the marketplace and he's relatively expensive he, he's at the top end so where were we going to find people that were already paying well so we sought out the most expensive day spa beauty uh, therapy place for women and men in his local area because we knew they were already paying well for their services over here and he was another service that they would pay well for so that's the kicker, is slice off a section of the market that have the exact need that you will fulfill and the wants and the desire, but also the ability to pay. Great. And when you get all of that together, then you've got a successful business. Instead of slicing off a section of the market that has a need, but they can't pay, then you don't have a business. You just have right. a passion. <laughs> you've mentioned you've mentioned one of my really go-to words there passion now we just want to oh, can i jump in <laughs> yes, can yes. I, and i will if, if people think of one thing and, and passion is key right i got another thing that is without passion you're just a pulse all right okay now obviously you you're doing quite a lot you you have um you know clients like uh, maybe myself that also have other clients how do you keep um, yourself productive and um, what's the word for it? How do you keep yourself organized? 
so that you are on top of things? What systems are you using that other people can also maybe, um, you know, uh, get a leaf off your page? Or what sort of, um, I'll probably rephrase this question, but I'm just saying what tools and systems are you using to keep productive and keep on top of uh, your whole enterprise? Prosper, you're assuming that I am organized. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have a your shelf. I, I have a, yeah, I have a range of tools. I've got some support staff now that um, are doing a lot of the stuff. My best ability is to create chaos and then get people to mop up the mess. Right. And, and, and that's it. So I, I get and I, I take a leaf out of some of your book on some of the organisational tools that you do. And you've, you've shared some of those with me. Um, obviously, I've got some appointment systems. I've got booking systems. I've got follow-up systems. I've got some basic CRMs, auto response, all, all the basic tools. But it, it is all a matter of you need to personally be on top of who you are and what you want to do. There's no sense having all of the tools if you're all over the place. And I had a mentor at the end of last year and over Christmas I did a lot of uh, personal development and mindset work and I, I do stress that everybody should be doing this. And one of the things that they said is, um, one thing that I want to do for this year is to name what this year is. This year is the year of, okay? Right. And to me it's a year of completion. And what three words describe me for this year? And my three words, focus, hustle, finish. And to me, is just be very clear and focused on where you want to go and what you want to do. Hustle. Get out there and hustle because in this day and age, it's not going to fall on your lap. Right. And finish. There's no sense having 57 fantastic projects half started. Make sure that you get in and you finish the projects that you're doing. So that's the mantra for this year. Focus, hustle, finish. Focus, hustle, finish. And that keeps me on track so that I can uh, make sure that we're doing everything. Um, the legendary uh, Robert Kiyosaki defines focus as follow one course until successful, of which you already are, sir. But I've got a really uh, 360 question for you. In the event that maybe all this did not work and all the success that you have had um, comes down to a halt, what is the one thing that you will go back in the market and start doing? Like what business would you start if you had to start afresh? That's a damn good question, Prosper. And nobody's ever asked that. And to me, it would be just going back to basics. Right. And the big thing that I see happening in the future is going to be a lot of hybrid businesses. You know, the offline businesses and consultants and coaches, the, the professionals that I work with and, and the people that you work with, once upon a time there was no internet. But people are still people. All, all the things that I used to do in the past still work now. It's just the delivery methods are different. Even though yeah, I'm a digital marketer and I do a lot of my work online, the online is just the communication and the delivery of what's in here. I could, and I still do, I go to face-to-face -face networking meetings, I go to a wide range of different things that are face-to-face. That -face. If the internet fell apart, I would certainly survive by working with a range of people putting groups of people together and leveraging time for money, working one-on-one, -on -one, adding value to people. It's a matter of, again, if you don't take away what's between my ears and my passion to help people, I will always succeed. You can take away all the tools and the fancy stuff, but if you don't take away what's between here and my passion to help people, 
I'll always succeed. Great answer to that question. Um, I, I, I always knew you'd be the right person to ask that question because this then helps you, the listener at the moment, to actually know that no matter where you go, your message and your market has to be consistent. The media could always change, all right? You know, when we started, there was newspapers and uh, TV. Now those are now becoming anomalies, you know? So the media would always change, but make sure you're consistent with your messaging and with your market. Now, obviously, we've already mentioned the whole transition there, Steve. Um, maybe one last question for you. What are you doing to keep on improving? I see you've just revamped your whole course and it's now a whole different uh, game ball just to keep up with the times. What, what is it that you actually are you know, doing to you know, keep up breast with, with technology and everything else that's changing around you while, while you're moving forward and you know, um, living your dream, so to see? Mate, again, I'll go back to, and I always go back to my sporting background. It was always striving to be better, to be better, to be better, no matter where I was in the pack. Now, when I first left school, I joined a group and my goal was to beat a certain guy. Then it was to beat another guy. Then it was to be you know, the, the state champ, then the national champ. It's always striving to be better. And I've got a saying that I, I got from Dan Kennedy. Every day I go to work, I compete. Now, I don't have competition. It's collaboration and it's abundance and all of those sorts of things. I compete against myself. How can I personally be the best that I can be? And I've got a goal of being able to help other people be the best that they can be. And that's not wishy-washy. There's the four Bs. I'm going to take a little bit of time to answer this because this is something that I am passionate about. There's the four Bs of being successful in business. The first one is your brain. That's your mindset. It's the learning that you're doing. And I'm going to be working with groups of people to make sure that we can get that mindset. They've got that learning and they start every day the right way. Then there's the body. You and I know, we both train. Your body falls apart and if it's not performing at its optimum, then your business is not going to perform at its optimum. Then there's the brand. We in business need to be our brand. Working in the business has gone by the wayside. Michael Gerber says work on the business. Now, that's gone by the wayside. I've come in and say you've got to work over your business. You need to be the person that stands out in your brand and be consistent with your brand. You look over my shoulder, there's us. People will know when I walk into a room, there'll be pretty well a very similar coloured shirt. You walk in, look in my wardrobe and we didn't take you upstairs when you came here. There's X number of shirts and there's quite a few of them that are very similar in that, that brand. And then there's the business. Too many people just focus on business, business, business and forget those first three Bs. When you get those first three Bs right, then you can move forward. So I'm consistently making sure that I'm putting the right information in and I'm setting aside time to get the right mindset and knowledge and learning. I'm consistently making sure that I'm putting time aside so that I can be physically the best that I can be. And then my brand is consistent and authentic, big word, authentic out there in the marketplace. And I am then, of course, working on my business. So when you ask, what am I doing to continually make myself better and better? Those four Bs are my mantra and have been for the last three or four years. You get those four Bs right, then you will be successful. I actually went into a fully fledged lesson. Hopefully you're not going to invoice us. Uh, pretty much after this, after this interview right there. The brain, body, brand, and business, the four Bs that you essentially need. None of this, I'm working on my business. There's a whole team of people that has to be uh, working in unison with that, okay? A lot of people just jump in and all they want is to be seen on Facebook or on Instagram and not really take care of who they are because, um, as you say, there's quite a lot of all these things uh, that actually formulate what then becomes the ultimate business. Now, you've actually dropped down a lot of value here, Steve, which people would be like, I think that's my guy. How can people get a hold of you or get in touch with the authority uh, sales catalyst so that they too can um, enhance you know, their uh, position of authority in the market? Look, the easiest way, and uh, yeah, I, I'm not a, a guy that sends people away or puts them through a funnel. Just email me, steve at stevebrosman.com. And okay. if you just put Prosper in the title or Prosper's video in the title, then if they've come from you, 
they've got a good mindset, then I'd love to give them a, a, a quick 10 minute call just to have a chat to see where they're at. Um, then we'd find out if there's anything that I could add value right now. At times, now is not the right time to work with me. And if I can give them some advice and send them on their way and when they're ready, then they can come back. So it's just a very simple steve at stevebrossman.com email. Then we can connect. I can send them some information first. Uh, they can have, to start with, they will get a free copy of my book. That book in itself has some video training inside the book itself. So uh, they can get started with that. And then if it's right, then we can, uh, we can have a chat. And I'd love to afford that to, uh, to your people. Steve, I cannot thank you enough for your time today. Um, you know, I know you're a busy guy. And uh, hopefully we get to hear a whole lot more about your new programs and everything else that comes along in the future. Mate, thank you so much, Prosper. Talking to you just keeps spurring on the fire to continue with what's called the locker room, which is going to be the four Bs where people can come to play a bigger game. Stay tuned for it. They can't find out about it right now, but it's going to be happening real soon. And that's what's driving me. Prosper. As always, um, I love your energy. I love your enthusiasm. Uh, you are a wonderful student of mine, mainly because you get off your butt and you go and implement. So congratulations to all the success that you've got. And for the people that work with you, you're in fantastic hands. Well, obviously, guys, without any sugar coating or anything, I'm going to repeat this again. That now where I thought I was going to be, there's no way... Uh, near what I'm actually experiencing in real life. I went across uh, Australia and in the process I went and I stopped and just to say hi. You didn't see me cry, Steve, but I did cry a little bit because that was just a, a, a defining moment in my life. But um, I really want to thank you so much for your time today. And um, if you're just on the side and you see me throwing this around, Steve is the guy that actually help me um, market brand and now scaling this business. All right, I'm gonna be putting all the details on how you can get in touch with him, although he's uh, told us his email address, but I'll um, definitely put that down so that you too um, can um, you know, get in touch with him. Steve, thank you once again, and um, hopefully we catch you on the next episode and keep prospering.